it'd be tough to get me to catch one. <laughs> right, let's get you over to Eric Green now for today's forecast. I don't know, Todd. You know, with the fish like that close, I feel like you could have just well, karate call, kitted one. They call it That's the cheating. San Juan shuffle, which is okay. cheating. But if you drag your feet, the fish do come up closer. Do oh, they? Do okay. They, then you can get them that way. We won't share that. Fr it's anyway. frowned upon <laughs> greatly. Gotcha. Okay. That's too easy then. All right. Well, we got the heat wave finally breaking, at least for most of New Mexico. A little relief is finally expected. Uh, daily storm chances, but sadly, they stay low for most of us. Uh, we will be much closer to average as we head through a good chunk of next week. Uh, down to just Farmington and the Four Corners area with the heat advisory. The rest of us no longer under a heat advisory, but look at Farmington, the driest corner of the state this afternoon, still hitting 100 degrees. Uh, most of the rest of us somewhere in the 90s. Areas south and east of Albuquerque will be most favored for this chance of scattered showers and storms. Santa Fe, Albuquerque, kind of right on the edge of the action. No, it's still across southern New Mexico. A lot of spots still touch about 100 degrees before a chance at storms takes a little heat out of the air and we catch some later day cloud cover. High confidence in storms firing over the Sangre de Cristos. Uh, the burn scars ripe for flash flooding. Had some flash flooding issues yesterday on the burn scars. Uh, likely due to again today, unfortunately. Uh, lows tonight, southern New Mexico, 70s. Uh, central and northern New Mexico, well, there will be some 50s and 60s. Uh, should hold that right around 70 of the Albuquerque metro. Uh, tomorrow, not quite as active as today, but we still have this chance of scattered storms right through the state's midsection and note uh, we still have those temperatures well into the 90s to almost 100 degrees for many New Mexico cities. So we still are dealing with some pretty significant heat. We look ahead towards Saturday, still talking about this chance of scattered to isolated storms, probably favoring the high terrain of central New Mexico. Finally, by Sunday, we see a noticeable shift in the areas most favored for showers and storms, uh, thinking western and northern New Mexico will be the most active spots. So we'll be watching for that on Sunday. Uh, let's just take a peek at the seven day forecast here real quick for the Albuquerque Metro. Well, we're going with 397s and an a 95 on Sunday. So yeah, not hitting 100, but still pretty close. 20% storm chances through Sunday. Heat easing next week, lower 90s. And by then we're up to 30% storm chances every day.